Hello guys and welcome to another Disney reading. Today we've got Disney Pixar Toy Story, A Fine Feathered Friend, which is shown as June 6. One afternoon, Woody was watching his favourite TV programme. In Woody's roundup, Sheriff Woody was repainting the old jailhouse. <laughs> his horse, Bullseye, uh, <clears throat> whined and stomped the ground. Not today, partner, said Woody. I've got to finish painting and then I'm helping Miss Tilly with her errands. Bullseye snorted. Most mornings he and Woody worked together, but lately it seemed like Woody was too busy. Boys at Bull <laughs> Bullseye wandered off to find Jesse. He was feeding peanuts to a squirrel. Bullseye bent his, uh, <coughs> bent his front legs so, he, so she could climb onto his back. Oh sorry Bullseye, he said. I promised to help this little guy gather some nuts for his friends. Some other time, fella? Bullseye sadly lowered his head to munch on some grass. He felt very lonely. Suddenly he saw something sitting among the, the, the weeds. It was a brown speckled egg. Bullseye looked around for a mother hen, but there wasn't anyone in sight. He found an old basket nearby and used it to carry the eggs back to town. When he arrived, he happily trotted to the, into the barn. Jessie was there. It's hard work to help an egg hatch, Jessie said. You have to keep it warm. Then, when the chick hatches, you have to care for it like it's like you're its real mother. <laughs> like it's a real mum. Do you think you can do that? Bullseye cared for the egg, just like a mother hen. He tucked, uh, tucked hay around it to keep it warm. Finally, one afternoon, Bullseye heard a tapping sound. Dup, dup, dup. It was the egg. He watched it closely. A little beak poked through. Then the egg broke open. A tiny yellow chick with spots on its back appeared and Bullseye named him Horse Feathers. <laughs> One day Bullseye and his Horse Feathers met Woody and Jesse at the corral. Horse Feathers trotted around the ring and even said no. <laughs> Jesse looked worried. Horse Feathers should be learning how to be a chicken, not a horse she said quietly. You've done a fine job, partner, Woody told his horse, but Horse Feathers needs to be with his real family. Just then, a mother hen and her chicks passed by. Then Woody heard the strangest sound. Beep, beep, beep. Or beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it was Horse Feathers chirping like a chicken for the first time. Horse Feathers ran over to his real mother and she tucked him under her wing. He is one unique bird, Woody said, shaking his head. And Bullseye is one unique horse, Jessie added. She gave Bullseye a hug. Good job, partner. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. If you did, click like. And if you'd like to see more, click subscribe. And the next story will be over Robin Hood School Days. So I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.